Today, I'm here with product designer Stan at All Star Sporting Goods Products. So what goes into testing a helmet? Oh, a lot. And a lot of times, it's really just getting into the lab and shooting a lot of things and breaking things. This is a steel mask right here, and it's our tried and true material. And steel's great. It's, it's actually hollow steel, so it's like mm -hmm. tubes filled with air. So fairly lightweight, and we like steel because it tends to bend, you know, and, and that's a good thing. Because fundamentally what, what we're trying to do is, is when you have a baseball coming you know, at your head, yeah. it has kinetic energy. And that kinetic energy has to go somewhere. That's a fundamental law of physics, is the conservation of energy. And so when that ball makes contact with, hopefully, your, your face mask, the, the goal is to have the face mask and the whole entire system absorb the energy before it gets into your head. What we do is inside, um, right down through more or less the, the neck, we stick what's called an accelerometer. And you can see it's wired up here to the, the larger head form right now. And what that accelerometer does is it's right basically in, in the middle of, of the head and it's, it's measuring the force felt inside of the head. So what we do with the air cannon here is we basically will fire the baseballs up to over 100 miles per hour and then we'll see how much energy and how much force actually gets into the head. So we like steel because when, when the ball impacts it, it tends to bend if the impact is large enough. And that's a great thing because if you think about bending a bar of metal, that takes energy to, yeah. to, to bend it. So that's sucking up energy that then hopefully doesn't get all the way to your head. And of course we have padding behind it and different, different tricks in there as well. And so in terms of materials, that's really where we start. We've got the steel there and then this is titanium. And if you feel it, it's more or less the same geometry, but it's definitely a lot lighter yeah, than is. the steel. But the thing we don't like about titanium is that it's very stiff. It does not bend like the steel. So we're really happy because we've been working for almost 10 years on this. Three, two, one. What do you think? That was so cool. Yeah, I and mean, that's basically what a catcher experiences when he's, you know, catching Chris Sale, who's throwing like 99 miles per hour. And you can feel that the magnesium wow. is even lighter than titanium, but what's nice about magnesium is it behaves like steel and that it will bend given a big enough impact. And again, we like bending. I mean, of course you need to buy a new mask, but that's secondary to, to providing you know, good safety. You can see this is what we do in the test lab. This is the magnesium. This is maybe a before and after. And this is after you know, maybe about a dozen impacts at over 100 miles per hour. You can wow. see we really mangle the thing to, uh, to see what happens. <laughs> 